The Ohanez Indigo Youth Council has hit Imo State Governor Hope Uzadema, accusing him of engaging in actions that could truncate the quest for a Nigerian president of Igbo extraction. Ohanez Youth Council claims are hinged on the worsening security situation in Imo State, which has led to daring attacks on security formations in the state. President General of the Igbo Youth Group, Mazi Okechuku Nabuike, said Uzadema was playing a script by those opposed to the Igbo presidency project. In a statement on Wednesday, Oku said, We have a governor who has refused to learn from history, who has, uh, who has refused to learn that Violent approach does not work in all circumstances. When he invited the military to Olu, we cautioned him, but he was not ready to listen to anybody. Now he is reaping the benefit of that singular action. All his actions since he became governor of Imo State have been anti Igbo. It has been clear from the blast of the whistle that he is serving the interest of anti Igbo elements. And the ultimate aim is to make sure that all Igbo man does not become a president. Up to this moment, rather than seek a peaceful solution to the logjam, he is still take, talking about the use of brutal force. At no time in Igbo land have we witnessed this level of carnage. And what this calls for is a round table discussion. The governor and the governor may not and okay, the governor and not any other person should be held responsible for what is happening in the state. It is not late for Governor Uzadima to retrace his steps and apologize to the Onlu people and indeed Ndibo for that genocidal act. This will go a long way in assuaging the feelings of the people. He appealed to Nigerians not to have a double mind on the Igbo presidency project as Ndibo remains deeply committed to the true unity of the country. There is no auspicious time more than now for the realization of this project. In fact, the future of Nigeria, of Nigeria depends on it and Uzadima's likes should not be allowed to succeed with their spoilers game. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it is? Hope Uzadima and Ohanez Ndibu who used to be in bed and now he at loggerheads. This is really, really sad and unfortunate. Well, it might just be a welcome development though, if you'd ask me, because what is the essence of a union that is not um, culminating in a fruitful uh, agenda or fruitful, uh, fruitful results? The Ohanez Ndigo and the Hope Uzodima are palace to a very large extent. But if at this point the Ohanez Ndigo are coming out boldly to speak against Uzodima, then it tells you that they are at loggerheads and they are probably they have probably realized that Hope Uzodima is not doing the right thing. Hope Uzodima really needs somebody to tell him the truth as regards what is happening. And um, this is just nothing but the truth. No governor in the northern part of the country had invited the military to use brute force on the bandits that have been terrorizing the people in the northern part of the country. So why would Hope Uzadema now call for bandits, call for um, brute force, call for military attacks on his own people in his own state, in his own even local government? or senatorial region as it is. It tells you that to a very large extent, Hopu Zadima does not have the interest of his people at heart. There is no, no any other explanation that is um, fit or that best describes this. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. So 
he needs to wake up to the realization that he is fighting his people and fighting his people will not in any way do him any good fighting his people in any way would not um, suffice solve the problem on ground or make things better but rather it will worsen the situation or it will worsen things i stand to be corrected if i'm wrong hope uzadema is not in any way representing the core values of Igbos. he does not understand politics he does not understand governance he does not understand leadership if this is what he think leadership governance and uh, politics is all about then he needs to go back and take his lessons again because his people he should know that his people come first no matter what look at what is happening in the southwest despite all the activities of the Boko Haram or the uh, Fulani headsmen in the southwest the Oyo state governor and the southwest governors never invited the military or rained the military upon their people they never did so it tells you that no matter how bad a child is, you cannot throw the child away with the bath water. But it's like, oh, Hope Uzadima does not understand this. No matter how a child is or how bad a child is, you cannot cut a child's head with a knife or with a cutlass. You are only going to scold the child and that is just what it's going to be like. So Hope Uzadima to a very large extent needs to go back to the drawing board. Hope Uzadima needs to go and learn how to um, carry out politics, how to play politics, and how to serve his people and not his own interest or his own ego. Because he may not be able to move forward beyond occupying the office of a governor. And that is just what it is. And one would have imagined that despite being, or despite having risen up to the uh, office of a governor, he probably should have known better than fighting against his people. Now, he is now in a serious battle and war with Ohaneze in Dibu that if care is not taken, the whole thing will escalate, and by the time it escalates, he may not have people to govern again. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular mystery as it were. What are your thoughts, guys? Well, drop by in the comment section and let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share this new story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.